Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, today we have another episode of The Everyday Kitchen. That's my opening. What are we going to do today, guys? Well, I'm going to attempt to do something I've never done. And that is... Hold things up and show you in the camera. I believe these are banana peppers. And I believe they're about a week past due. They're feeling not perfect. But I'm going to try to do something here. I got some hot sausage, giggity. Got it open already. I'm gonna try and make some stuffed peppers wrapped in bacon. Got cheese. I don't know if it's gonna work out or not. I'm gonna give it a shot. Even got one of these. Sorry. So I got a handful of these. I don't know if it's going to work. No clue. But we're going to find out. So let's go ahead and start making our mixture. How about that? A little bit of Italian seasoning. A little black pepper. A little garlic powder. A little red pepper flakes. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know what I'm doing. This mixture was just something I did. I don't know if it's right. I don't know. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. Uh, I'm going to cut this here and just take a gander at what's going on in here. Be careful when you cut stuff. I guess we got the placenta in there. I don't know if I should stuff it like this. Yeah, that'll work. I just stuck the knife down in there and kind of cut around. I don't want to, but I'm going to pop that off there. It wasn't on there very good. So I guess I'm just going to take some of this and put in here. Mm. We'll see what happens. don't really know what I'm doing, but... I got a lot of mixture. Feels kind of gross. Now, I don't believe I'm supposed to cook it first. I think you cook it 
kind of in here. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just kind of going with the flow, guys. That's what I do with most of my with most of my cooking. I just kind of go with it. Uh, I might I might get some kind of an idea uh, offline. I might see somebody do something, and then I might totally I might take it and just completely rearrange it and use whatever I've got that's close enough. I wonder if I had to go back on. Huh. I don't know. I'm not good with puzzles. Something like that. But I don't think it's going to stay. It'd be kind of cute if it would. But I got it packed all the way down into there. Pretty good. So, yeah. Let's continue that, shall we? Well, I got a little bit of mixture left over. I might just make a big old sausage patty or something. I don't know. So, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these stuffed. Plus, I stuffed this. Now, I've had stuffed bell peppers before. And I don't even know, again, I don't even know if I did my mixture right. I feel like I might should have put an egg in there or something. I don't know. I'm not real sure. Uh, I'm sure there's a dozen different ways you can do these things. Uh, so now I guess I'm going to try and wrap them with bacon. Don't know. We'll see how that goes, guys. So let's get to wrapping these with bacon, shall we? Bacon! Okay. So... good thing about bacon is it stretches so
All right, guys. So I got them all wrapped up nice and pretty. Even have an extra patty right there. Um, I'm not going to cook them right now. I'm going to put them in the fridge. Uh, I have to do my afternoon school bus route here in just a little bit. So I don't really have time to mess with that. Uh, with cooking them right now. But uh, yeah, it's the first time I've ever done this. Don't know how it's going to turn out. I hope everything cooks up nice and uh, fully. <laughs> so... Uh, once this is done, uh, we'll do a taste test and see how it turns out. Be on the lookout because it's right after this. Well, I mean, I'm going to... Anyway, we'll be back in a little while to see how this turns out. Let's do this. Well, we'll do it later. <laughs> Love y'all. <laughs> All right, guys. It is 4.17 in the afternoon. Ah. Where am I going with this? Oh, yeah. I just now turned the oven on, preheating it. I don't always let things preheat. It don't much matter. Ah. Get these goodies out of the fridge I think it's gonna turn out pretty good I have high hopes guys high hopes he's got high hopes I don't know let's see how it does oh my gosh let's get this there we go I don't know if it's right or not, but I put it on 300 degrees for 51 minutes. 51 minutes. Uh, just got back from a bike ride. Woo! Man, I'm ready for the temperatures to drop a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, guys, not only are we going to have these amazing stuffed peppers, but look what else we're going to have. That's right, making some tacos and burritos. I'm not going to show you that because that's not really part of this segment today. Today the segment is the stuffed peppers. So we're going to wait on the peppers. I'll get back with you in a little under an hour. We'll see where we're at. Again, the hat, it makes me, I don't know. All right, guys, we're getting there. We're almost done. Got my taco stuff going and pretty much ready to go. Let's check on the old peppers and see what's going on. Just a little look-see. Okay. Oh, yeah. Quite a bit more to go, guys. Quite a bit more to go. I'm going to turn up. Going up to 375. See if we can't get them moving along a little bit. Uh, looking forward to trying it. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you back here in just a few more minutes, and we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. One minute left on the countdown. Let's go ahead and take a look.
tell you what, I might leave it in there for a little bit longer. We'll do six more minutes on that. I think that'll get it just right. Won't be long, guys. <clears throat> now we're starting to smell some bacon. Kevin Bacon. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm a little nervous. Now, it's been in there for a while. But I'm going to turn the oven off because I know it's good, it's good to cook uh, sausage, pork, and all that fully. So I just want to make absolutely sure that it's cooked. I don't want to be getting no worms. I itch enough. It's looking good there, though. We're about ready, guys. And then we'll do a sweet taste test on those peppers. Mwah. See you in a bit. <clears throat> All right, they're ready to come out. That looks pretty good to me. So what we're going to do here is do a live, right now, out of the oven taste test. Let's do this. Not even going to cut the camera. You're going to see how live this is. It's going to be amazing, really. Looks pretty warm, guys. Pretty warm. Let's move the camera here. Do this right here. Oh, yeah. This looks all right, guys. I have a feeling it's going to be warm. Whoa. All right. I got to put the camera down. I'm thinking that might be incredible. Thinking it might be borderline incredible, guys. Make absolutely sure about the sausage. I think it's done. I think she's good to go. I'm gonna try and take a bite like this. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Guys, that's good stuff. I don't 
don't know if I want tacos or burritos now. Some bacon and sausage and all that. Mm. That's absolutely perfect looking. Totally wrapped there. Cut perfect. Mmm. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't be scared to try something new, because you never know what's going to happen. You can stuff these peppers with whatever you want. I could use beef, and and uh, you could use seafood, or whatever you want. But I wanted to go with a nice hot sausage. That's what she said. Anywho, long video, need to cut her off. I hope you enjoyed another episode of The Everyday Kitchen. Cobra Kai! Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you give something a try. Leave it in the comments. Let me know if you've done this before. Let me know what you've put into them. And uh, if you've ever done banana peppers or whatever, so leave in the comments. Let's get this channel to shoot up. Let's get a thousand subs by the end of this year. We don't have long, guys. Let's get a thousand subs. Help me to grow. All right? Don't forget, get up, get out, get red, do it to it, even when doing something you've never done before and totally owning it. I totally owned it. I better call it my kids, because they're going to want some of this. We'll see y'all later. Now go make them peppers. Go make them! Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!